Hey there, it's Mark. I want to take a look at this brand new Hot Wheels car. It's new for 2021. Very first color. It's called See Me Rollin'. Let's take a look at the back of the package. Born 2020, El Segundo, California. Wait a second, it said new for 2021. Well, I think they put that because they designed it in 2020, but it didn't get released until 2021. Life comes at you fast, and sometimes the best option you have is just to roll with it and hope your lucky number comes up. This custom van is built to always give you a chance for that to happen. Up in the corner, you can see that it has a special feature. When I was doing my unboxing video on race grooves, I looked at the bottom and I seen that right there. And I thought maybe you roll this over something and then it'll leave those impressions. Well, my first impression was incorrect because actually, look, you can see the number six right there. Well, not the number six. That looks like the side for six. You can already see, see, you can already see six and three and four. I went to the cupboard, got a couple dice games that we have, Yahtzee and Headache. Headache has the special pop -o -matic. That's where it pops the dice. You know, the dice, they, they have a flat side. Oh, by the way, this is, this, is, this is not new. I've had this a long time. The price sticker, I don't even know what store that comes from. That's so old. It has a copyright on the side of the box, 1982. Wow, this box is old, almost 40 years. And the headache box, that one's old too. Copyright 1986. It's not older than me, but it might be older than you. Headache's a simple game. It's real easy to play. You have these things and you try to capture, you try to capture your opponents by giving them a headache. But this was, this is very cool right here. The pop -o -matic. There's your dice. And then when it's your turn, you give it a push. I think the red was headache, wasn't it? This way you could, I forget. I haven't played it in so long, but, but notice how the dice, oh, they almost land on the, they have a flat side, but they wind up getting stuck like that sometimes. How about Yahtzee? I haven't played this in a long time either. <laughs> so old. I am surprised, as you can tell, we, we didn't play too much. Uh, when we did play, we just used a, a piece of paper and then we just saved these. N none are marked. I don't know if we use this at all. I think we did. It looks like some are missing. Some game pieces. Oh, perfect. The dice came out. When you play this game, see, this is how you roll your dice. Let's get a couple. Actually, you have to see you have five dice. The chips, the chips are not supposed to be in there. Let's give it a roll. There you go. Let's see how the dice all land on the flat side. What you try to do is you try to roll three of a kind, four of a kind, full house, maybe a straight. And what did I get? Let's see. Uh, nothing good. <laughs> I got a couple fours. What I want to know is if you use this for a dice, is it going to stop on a flat side? I don't think so because mm, it's kind of angled. And even when you look at this side, look, it's not even parked on a flat side. I think it just rolls like normal. Another thing I want to know is, what if you do want to roll it over some Play-Doh or something else? Is it going to leave a mark? Let's open it up and find out. You can see the numbers like through a sunroof on the top of the model. They called it a van. I guess it's kind of shaped like a van. There's number five, number six. I wonder, that's top flat. That's top flat. Well, that's in the middle. Yeah, see, unless it, unless it stops flat, look, what's that? Mm, six, one, three, six, uh, two or three. That's all right, it's just a toy. You're supposed to, you're supposed to play with it. How does it roll? Okay. Oops, sorry. It's kind of loud and noisy. It has that big drum wheel in the back. However, it does have ridges right here. See this ridge? So when it's rolling, it's not hitting all these chonk, 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 chonk. It's just rolling on this ridge, just like the front tires. It's rolling on, you know, something not real fat. It's just enough to roll on. So you can see, hey, that's pretty cool. 
in the video, when I did my unboxing video, I looked in the windshield. I wasn't sure what those were, but once, once I looked at it more closely, it's actually the motor. It's got two motors. You can see the exhaust sticking out of the side. And on the other side, yeah, two big motors, got some exhaust. Hey, where am I supposed to sit? Yeah, Mark, but what about the Play-Doh? It's safe for most surfaces, but I don't want to get it on my carpet. And I don't know if it'll stain my display stand. So instead, I'm going to use an extra dinner plate. <laughs> this way, nice and hard surface, and it'll be easy to get off. I gotta make this flat. I haven't used this in so long. You know when people were making Play-Doh videos a few years ago? I, n I never did it. How do you get it out? I need to get, I need to get a, I gotta get a spoon or a butter knife, get it out of there. Oh yeah, I recognize that smell. Do you? Smell it, smell it. I wanna make it flat. I'm curious what kind of impression the, the dice imprints on that big drum of a rear axle See what it looks like. Let me do it some more at an angle. Try to get it a little more flat. A little more flat, a little flatter, more flatter. That's all right. Ready? I'm not gonna push too hard because I don't want it to stick and then get it all up in my Hot Wheels car. I'm just gonna push a little bit. Let's see. Chunk, 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 chunk. Oh, <laughs> you can see the lines. You can kind of see some of the dots, but not all of them. You can definitely see the grooves from the edges of the wheel drum and the lines that separate each number. Let me try one more time. I'll push a little bit harder. See if I can get the dot. Uh oh, it's getting stuck. Oh, look, it's pushing it up. Yeah, not gonna be doing. You're not. This is not what it's for, anyways. But when I when I seen this car at first, I thought, oh, maybe you can. No, look at this. It's smearing. That's just use it as a toy for dice. Did I get any stuck in there? Nope. Still good. Hey, it's Mousetrap. This game's been around for a long time, too. Copyright 1975. Wow, 45 years old already. Three. One, two, three. Uh-oh. This didn't work perfectly every time. You want to see some bloopers? I like that shot. <laughs> Thank you. 
was better. Before you go playing with your cars like this, please ask for your parents' permission. I don't want to get any emails. I want to make sure they allow you to keep watching my videos. Thanks for watching Race Grooves TV. Have fun with your cars. Bye bye.